This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the index of hydrogen deficiency. A saturated non-cyclic hydrocarbon, such as hexane, has the maximum number of hydrogen atoms. Hexane is an alkane with a general formula CnH2n plus 2. Its molecular formula is C6H14, which means it has 6 carbon atoms and 14 hydrogen atoms. If any of the carbon to carbon single bonds are replaced by carbon to carbon double or triple bonds, or if the molecule contains a ring structure, there is a deficiency of hydrogen atoms. So here we have hexuanine, which has a carbon to carbon double bond. If we look at the molecular formula, we can see that it has two less hydrogen atoms than the molecular formula for hexane. Therefore, it has a deficiency of hydrogen atoms. The index of hydrogen deficiency is a count of how many molecules of hydrogen need to be added to convert the molecule to the corresponding saturated non-cyclic molecule. By calculating the IHD, we can tell from the molecular formula how many multiple bonds and rings are present in the molecule. The IHD for a hydrocarbon with X number of carbon atoms and Y number of hydrogen atoms is given by this equation. So the equation is the index of hydrogen deficiency is equal to 2 times x, where x is the number of carbon atoms in the molecule, plus 2, minus y, which is the number of hydrogen atoms in the molecule, divided by 2. Next we look at some examples, starting with hexane. So the index of hydrogen deficiency for hexane is the number of carbon atoms multiplied by 2, which gives us 12, plus 2, minus the number of hydrogen atoms divided by 2. This gives us an index of hydrogen deficiency of 0. This is because hexane is a saturated non-cyclic molecule. Next we look at hexuanine, which has a carbon to carbon double bond. So the index of hydrogen deficiency for hexuanine is 12 plus 2 minus 12 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 1. This is because hexuanine has one carbon to carbon double bond. Next, we look at cyclohexane, which is a cyclic molecule. So the index of hydrogen deficiency is 12 plus 2 minus 12 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 1. This is because cyclohexane is a ring structure. In our last example, we look at butuanine, which is an alkyne with a carbon to carbon triple bond. So the index of hydrogen deficiency is 8 plus 2 minus 6 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 2. This is because the molecule has a carbon to carbon triple bond. Next we look at compounds that contain atoms other than hydrogen. If sulfur and oxygen atoms are present in a molecule, they do not affect the index of hydrogen deficiency. Halogens such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine are treated like hydrogen atoms. If nitrogen is present in the molecule, for each nitrogen atom, add 1 to the number of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. So here we have ethanol, which has an oxygen atom. So the oxygen atom does not affect the index of hydrogen deficiency. Therefore, we'd calculate it as we would for C2H6. Next, we look at chloroethane, which has a chlorine atom in the molecule. So the chlorine atom is treated like a hydrogen atom. So we'd use the formula C2H6 to calculate the IHD. And finally, methylamine, which has an amine group bonded to a carbon atom. So the molecular formula is CH5N. So because we have one nitrogen atom, we add one to the number of carbon atoms and one to the number of hydrogen atoms, which gives us C2H6. So let's end with a summary. A value of zero for the index of hydrogen deficiency means the molecule has single bonds, it's saturated and non-cyclic. An example is propane, which has carbon to carbon single bonds with a molecular formula of C3H8. A value of one for the index of hydrogen deficiency means the molecule has a double bond or a ring structure. An example is butuene, which has a carbon to carbon double bond, and cyclopropane, which is a cyclic molecule with a ring structure. And finally, a value of 2 for the index of hydrogen deficiency means the molecule has a triple bond. And an example is propine, which has a carbon-to-carbon -carbon triple bond.